So, that's fun. Um, because I remember buying an escape rope. <sighs> yep. Here it is! I literally bought it to preserve it, and then completely forgot it existed. Yeah, we love it. Ugh! I literally lost three mons to that. That's ridiculous. This is double slap, so I don't need that. And then the HM for cut, we still have Maximus, who was our cut user. Um, so we can deposit that. So freeing up bag space, always a crucial thing. I'm a little bit mad at myself that I completely forgot about the stupid escape rope, because that would have saved three freaking lives. But you know what? That's fine. We live, don't we? Um, okay. Uh, gambler, I don't want to deal with you. I can deal with this girl, though. Um... Oh, that makes me so mad that I did that. But anyway, today's the day of episode, obviously, as you can see, because this episode is probably going up around 7 or 7.30, which is a little bit more uh, later than I wanted it to be. Um, But you know what? It kind of happens. I need to do a team recap, because as you can see, we have a Kingler now. So it's actually really amazing. Um, Unfortunately, we don't have Mega, but we do have Carter. So Carter, you're going to be sent out. Our, we, our new mods that got added to the team um, is the evolution of Maximus. Carter? Why couldn't you take that hit? Carter might die instantaneously. No, okay. Carter barely stays alive. That doesn't make me feel better at all. Um. Yeah, I don't feel good about that. But anyway, so we got Carter, B, and Adam. B is the Kangaskhan, Adam is the Scyther. Um, so yeah, now we have two normal types on the team, which is a little bit of a oofy poofy scoopy, but you know what, we deal with it. But anyway, so today was very interesting. So obviously, y'all know I work today, which is why, um, so for, between setting up for the sleep block, working today, and all the fun stuff, I, you know, was getting this episode late. Um, but yeah, so also, it's like I said, today's been insanity. So basically, customers, people, I don't understand them, but... I actually, <laughs> um, people, I don't know what it is about, like, or what stigma retail associates have, but I swear, people think they're stupid for absolutely no reason, and a lot of them are, like, teens, 20-somethings that are in college doing school to pursue their actual career. People don't see that. So... So, so today, so I'm, as you know, I'm going to school for cybersecurity, um, and somebody actually <laughs> came and tried to pass off a fake coupon, and it was clear that it was fake, like, it, it was, like, they couldn't have made it more clear, but, you know, because, okay, so, I don't know, uh, M Mace will understand what I'm talking about, but coding, like, coding has its own distinct, like, font, right? So... Like, what happens is that it, it's very, it's very blocky, the font style. Um, whereas most, you know, companies are going to use Times New Roman or, you know, Calibri or, like, you know, more professional fonts. Um, your coding fonts are going to be a lot more bricked. Um, and it makes sense. But this coupon was clearly not right because it had... Um, one, it was $20, and the only way you can get $20 is if you have, did I actually forget to heal? No, I didn't. Okay, I was smart and didn't forget to heal. Um, I'm gonna put Timmy in the front because I trust Timmy. I actually almost want to put Troll in the front too, but you know what, we'll figure that from there. Um, but yeah, so like, basically, long story short, it was brick font, and it was $20, which you normally don't get $20. Um, it's a very, that's a very large amount. Usually we give you $10 in Kohl's Casters or something if there's, like, some form of dispute. Um, and usually it's never sent to an email. Usually it's physical Kohl's Cash. Um, also we got an Arbok, which I do not mind at all. Um, and then that, the Kohl's Cash on top of it didn't even have, like, a... It didn't have a barcode. You had to type it in physically. And so I typed this barcode in, like, one time, um, or two times, and then I was like, you know, because we had some, uh, issues in terms of, you know, Kohl's Cash, because Kohl's Cash, 
like, people, it's that time of year where people are stupid and, uh, try and, like, make fake gold cash. Really? You're gonna poison and toxic me? You know what? Troll, get out here. I don't want to use all of my, uh, my, uh, antidotes right now. I just, I can't do that. So, yeah, so it's that time of year. Yay. The best time of year where people try and fake things because they think we're stupid. Um, and then, um, you know, you have that issue. You have just all oh, the stupidity today. Um, and then we got a new ASM, which our new ASM is, you know, not bad at all. I actually think she's going to be a great ASM. Um, she... For once in Cole's life, we actually have a person who actually is from another store and knows what they're doing. Oh my god, they figured it out. It's almost like hiring it from within is actually a good thing. What? Um, anyway, so sh I think she'll do great. Um, like, she's learning her new position, which obviously 100% makes sense. Um, you know, I always give at least, like, a... <laughs> You know, I'll be realistic. I would, I was gonna exaggerate and be like, at least a month to figure out what you're doing. But yeah, no, I'm like two weeks. Like, you got two weeks, two, two to three weeks to figure out what you're doing, and then I can make my actual official judgments later. Um, cause you know, the last thing you want to do is like judge somebody too early. I'm gonna name this Cole because today's episode is about the frustrations at Cole's today. K O H L. Yes, I just named it Cole. Bite me. Um, and then... So yeah, so that happened. And then, you know, because I'm the only one working there today at the registers. Because, you know, it's a Monday and usually you only have one register person. The servers went down. And I'm just like, bruh, are you kidding me? Our entire servers went down. Like, everything. Right now. Naturally, you know, the day that I'm alone at the registers... Everything has to hit the fan. Um, because, you know, we, 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 we just love John Luck. It exists. It's a meme for a reason. Um, but yeah. And then, you know, just, oh, it's just frustrating when that happens. It's like, really? Really? It's like, we're going to pull this? And, of course, the systems are like, of course we're going to pull this because hashtag hype. And so we, like, everything, like, collapsed and crashed. And so we had to figure out the server error. Um, because why not, um, you know, server errors, you know, the normal thing you have to figure out as a retail employee, because that's definitely, like, thank God I'm into, I going into IT and cybersecurity, that, that makes me have, or feel the security of my job, um, we're gonna get, like, another encounter, um, so thank goodness, um, that I'm going into a really good field, um, but yeah, ooh, Butterfree, yes, uh, Butterfree is amazing. So, yeah, so that's always good. And then, you know, on t we add on top of the madness. You think that not you think that we couldn't have anything uh, else happen. No, 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 no. We had to have the, you know, at the busy time, you know, not at night or not in the morning. No, no, no. At the busy time, we had to have a lift because, you know. You know, you know, let's just, you know, casually have that. So, anyway, so that happens, right? And it just goes in a way that nobody would have expected. Um, because our, actually, our person was there for, thank God. Because that never happens. Our person's never, like, when something happens, our person is never there. And if you guys haven't worked retail, person, if, um, you won't know what person I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, anyway, so person was there for once and uh so we <laughs> we had a um you know pd come because it was a lift um and yeah so i was ringing up customers and right behind me there's a you know arrest going on and i'm like and of course you know it was one of those resisted ones so where they're like not actually like you know uh, not actually wanting to you know do that so anyway so i have to keep it vague because you know i just it's i don't know all the specifics of it and you know the last thing i want to do is create speculation when there is no spe uh, speculation to be made but yeah so anyway that happened today too and i'm like of course 
I want to look back, I really do, but I'm with customers, so I can't look back and see what's going on, sadly, because I totally wanted to know. Um, but yeah, so <laughs> today was a high-key eventful, and not only that, I have to um, finish a final, which will be easy, I'll get like a, at least an A on it, because if I don't get an A, I'm going to be a little sassy butt, um, because I have to get an A, because I have super duper high standards for myself, which probably shouldn't. Um, uh, because, you know, it's almost like having high standards is not a bad thing, but it's not a good thing either. Like, I want to hold myself to the best standards I can actually hit. Um, and that's something I gotta learn and get better at. Um, and I will. I know I will over time, but it's just, it's gonna take a minute. Okay. <sighs> Me casually not knowing what I need to do or what I could do. I think Poison Sting would kill this range. I mean, I'm gonna try it. It's only a Butterfree. Like, what am I really losing out um, if it doesn't, if it kills? Like, I'm not losing out on too much if it does kill. So, you know what? There's no harm. No harm, no foul. Uh, I forgot this game is bugged, uh, literally. Um, and that bug is uh, weak to poison. Well,. I forgot that Gen 1 was a little bit bugged. That's fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. Um, we're gonna get more encounters anyway, so I am not complaining. So, what I'm gonna do is I think we're gonna make this episode in encounters episode, actually. Because, you know, the last thing we need is the stress of a gym, right? You know, that's just the last thing we actually, like, need. Uh, I don't want to be stressed. So, uh... Anyway, oh, well, you know, 11 minutes into the 12 minutes into the video, you know, not a bad time to be like, y'all, by the way, there's a sleep log on the 18th, which is Thursday, um, two days from now, y'all are gonna have a sleep log, which is of Pokemon Challenge version, which is what, part of the reason why this is day of, I think I brought it up, um, earlier, but I don't remember, so I'm saying it again, so sorry if I'm saying it again, um... But yeah, so basically, it's a sleep block of Pokemon Challenge version. If you guys don't know what Pokemon Challenge version is, it is the Pokemon game that I made back in 2017 or 2018. Um, it's a really fun Pokemon game, and I really enjoy it. But yeah, so I think I might... Oh, I got Farfetch'd. That's actually cool. We're going to name it Barrington. Because that's the name I think of. Bearing ton. Why? Why Barrington, you ask? I don't know. That's just the first name that popped into my name. Why? Oh, Barrington went to the death box. You know what, Barrington? You're probably not going to be used, but you're not dead. So, and I shouldn't say that you're not going to be used because as soon as something dies, you're probably going to be like, you're going to be used because, you know, I know myself. At this point, enjoy wonderfully masterfully pointed out in the comments that I should probably stop saying, oh, this is going to be fine. This is going to live all the way till the end because as soon as that happens, then it's just dead. Um, and Joy is absolutely correct. We actually might be able to get the other two encounters on top of fighting the gym leader today, actually, because this episode is going by extremely fast. Surprise! John's actually knows Kanto. I'm like, Orion. Um, damn, calling him out. But, you know, it's actually true. Oh, I need the coin case. You write as... Why is that as soon as I say that I know Kanto better than Ryan, I forget the coin case? That's just karma. That is what we call karma. Because, um, yeah. I was trying to get hidden coins so that I... Could just go and get the mon, but this game is a correct thing, and I completely forgot my coin case before doing other things. Oh no, that actually worked. Wait, okay, apparently I know this song way too well. Um, but yeah, no, honestly, like. It's just amazing to kind of just, you know, having a day of episodes, not a bad thing. Okay, now you're going to give me 20 coins. Thank you. And then there's a lot of hidden, there's like hidden coins everywhere. So I'm going to be tapping A. And try to get as many coins as possible so that I can just get my encounter before 
you know, having to worry about... Because I swear that I can get, a, like, a hundred coins somewhere. Sorry, that was like a long moment of silence for no reason. Do you give me coins? No. Where do I get the 100 coins from? There's another 20. I believe there's a hidden item like that has 100 coins. There's another 10. There's another 10. And if y'all didn't know there was hidden coins on the floor, I didn't know it either until Dobbs. So, <laughs> not gonna lie. Thank you, Dobbs, for allowing us to do that. I believe we have enough coins now, but yeah, more coins the better. I'm just stealing people's coins behind them. I feel like I'm literally robbing people right now. I don't know if that's just me. I think Pokemon is literally letting me rob people out of their coins. But I believe... Ah, uh, I can't find it. I should have enough coins though, I believe. I have 120 coins! Yeah, I have enough to buy stuff! Oh, the prices are next door. Y'all, I don't care if it's next door or not. I'm getting my prize Pokemon. Let me get him. Um, what? Oh, a Golduck! What a Pokemon, yeah, okay. Oh, the Gyarados is 1,200 coins! I can buy my mascot! If I can't catch my mascot, I'm gonna buy my mascot! That's how it works, okay? It's mine now. Uh, we're, we're naming this, uh, uh <laughs> Babble. I don't know why, but we're naming it Babble, okay? Um, <laughs> it just came into my head. Okay, okay, okay. It's fine. It's okay. Um, so, I actually, I am gonna go ahead and fight... Um, I'm gonna fight some trainers in Erica's gym, but not Erica. Erica will be on Friday, I guess. Actually, do I just be a, do I just save Erica's gym for the next episode and just explore Celadon? Honestly, that's $5,000. Thank you. Um, honestly, that actually sounds like a good idea. Because we're basically almost out of time anyway. And then we can get the episode out on time. If it's a little bit of a shorter episode. And we can save Erica for after the sleep walk. When John's completely sleep deprived. That sounds like a terrible idea. No, I'm not I, I'm not recording day of, by the way. That's, that's not going to happen. Um, but yeah, I think we're gonna get set up, and it's gonna be a little bit of a shorter episode today, you know? Um, we don't mind these shorter episodes. A lot of things got done, actually. We got four separate encounters. Um, and you are creepy. Um, uh, no. <laughs> this gym is so great! It's full of women! Oh my god! Uh, it's like... Creepy dude. We don't need a creepy old dude stalking these women, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and, uh... Can I just... Can I just, like, eliminate him from the game? What a weird note to end off on. Okay, we're gonna, um, uh, completely erase him from the game. I think that's a great idea. But anyway, in the next episode, we're gonna be taking on the gym. Definitely not scared at all. Um, we just saved. Hopefully you have a wonderful day. If you are new, like, comment, subscribe. Always is appreciated. Sleep luck on Thursday. Do not forget. Love you all. Peace.